Good morning. Welcome to Mishmas Day 5. I'm like, I cannot already be losing track. Uh, day 5 it is. So I am, I'm just standing here because I'm about to make my breakfast. I've got some eggs out. I've got my blueberries. I'm microwaving a sweet potato. Breakfast um, is usually the biggest meal of my day these days. Um, so I'm about to make that. And I just wanted to talk about this coffee today. So we are drinking from coffee. No, that's not the full name. Blossom Coffee Roasters from Seattle, Washington. And it's called Holiday Cheer. It is medium and cozy. That's the roast level. Tastes like milk chocolate, clove baked fruit and fig. Um, I definitely taste the chocolate in this one more than, was that yesterday's? I felt like there was one, I think it was yesterday's. Uh, there was one that was like chocolate. And I'm like, I don't taste the chocolate at all. This one tastes a little bit more chocolatey. A cup of cheer, literally. With each sip of this organic blend, you'll experience the warming flavors of a spiced apple berry tart with milk chocolate shavings on top. I get maybe a little. I don't know if it's like the power of suggestion, but... Maybe a little, but I do taste the, the chocolate for sure. I mean, it's coffee. Lift this mug for a holiday toast. It'll lift your spirits in return. Well, all right. I do like this one. Holiday cheer, Blossom Coffee Roasters. This really is a great way to like learn about different roasters because there's so many. Um, and I usually just stick to the same ones. All right, well, anyway, I'm off to a little bit of a late start this morning because I was out last night. Um, I just got coffee on my robe. <laughs> so yeah, I was out a little bit later than usual yesterday. I was at my friend Marie's and I just, I slept in. I usually don't sleep past 5 a.m. It's just, you know, when I get up. And, um, you know, by the way, many of you have asked me about, about that, about the fact that I get up so early. I've been getting up so early for so long that I just don't even think it's early anymore. But yeah, I mean, anytime anyone points that out, I'm like, yeah, it is, I guess, yeah, I guess it is early. Um, and so many of you asked me, you know, how I've gone into this habit um, or, you know, why do I get up early or whatever. If you guys are interested in hearing more about that, I could definitely share, but I don't know. I, again, because I've been doing it for so long, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I could sit down and think about it, of course, and, and explain to you and, and talk about it or whatever, but, um, or do one of those, uh, my 5 a.m. morning uh, wake up routine. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Anyway, so I'm getting a bit of a late start this morning. I got up at like 6.30 and yeah, so I feel like I'm kind of rushing around because it feels, it feels a little late for me. So I'm going to go ahead and make my breakfast and then... Uh, let's open up the advent calendars. I'll kind of wake myself up a little bit and we'll talk about what we're going to do today. Day five. What have we got? What have we got? I feel like I keep missing. Oh no, it's this big one down here. Right here. Oh wow. A wild bluebell body mist. Now this I've never seen in one of their advent calendars. This is awesome. I don't know what wild bluebell smells like. Ooh, it's very, oh God, I just got it on the box. <laughs> it's very fruity and light, but there's like a touch of like warmth in there, almost like a melon. Ooh, very nice. Okay, I have for YSL. Here's day five. Oh, it's a big. A big drawer. Ooh, we've got the Slim Velvet Radical, the highly pigmented velvet matte lipstick in shade number 21. Let's take a look at this. This seems like full size, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, look at the shape and everything. So chic. Perfect holiday red. All right, Cicely. What do we have for... What day are we on? Day five, right? Oh, down here. Oh, wow. Is this a mirror? Oh my gosh, it's a mirror compact with the like tiger stripes on here. This is like a matte black. Oh, this is so cool. I love this. Oh, and it's so different. Oh, I love it. Okay, day corte. It is... 
Let's see, day number five, here we go. Over here. Ah, more of their amazing skincare. This is the Conditioning Treatment Softener ER. Can't wait to try it. I've always had luck with their skincare, so this is exciting. Okay, Diptyque, what have you got for day number five? Here we go. Up here, we have the Fleur, Fleur de, de Peau. No, Fleur de Peau? <laughs> I'm not sure, but we have this EDP, and I know I have probably a few of these. Mm. So clean and fresh, just a hint of sweetness. That's really lovely. All right, that is it for the advent calendars today. All right, I am getting ready for the day. I've got my Lily Silk uh, like quarter zip striped sweater on. I love this. It's so comfy cozy and it's a great like running around town, running errands and stuff. It's a perfect sweater for that. I was just about to do my hair and I thought, let me share with you guys my, uh, I guess it's a hair routine. It's more like the products that I've been using that I've really been enjoying. And my hair has never looked quite as full and healthy as it has, I don't think. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed anything. A few of you have commented, um, like your hair is looking full or are you doing anything differently? And I started using a different shampoo and conditioner. I started using a scalp serum and some other tools that I've mentioned here or there, but I figured let's just talk about it all at once here. Let me actually get the shampoo and conditioner out of my shower. Hang on one second. Okay, so I've been using Act and Acre. Sorry, it's just so gross. It's all wet from the shower. So I've been using the cold pressed stem cell shampoo and conditioner. And they did send this to me. I did do a sponsorship with them. It was, I think it was, it's, it was Instagram stories and maybe a reel. Anyway, something like that. Um, and so I've been using them for about a month when I did the actual sponsorship. I really liked the shampoo and conditioner. I felt like, yeah, like my hair, my scalp mainly was just feeling really, I don't know, clean. And it was feeling um, like light. And it's just one of those things like you, you just never, you don't realize that your scalp doesn't feel clean until it feels clean. You know what I'm saying? So, so I was like, wow, I really like the shampoo and conditioner. Um, I actually hopped on a call with Acton Acres, um, I guess the, uh, the creator, and she actually is like a, a, a hair doctor. And she talked about how, um, and I, there's many different beliefs and philosophies surrounding this, but she really, really believes in washing, not even necessarily your hair, but your scalp every day. And I told her, I was like, I'm so happy to hear you say that because I wash my hair every day, including my scalp. And I feel like people are constantly telling me, don't do that. It's not good for your hair. And I was like, how could it not be good for my hair unless I'm using, I don't know, like, I, I don't know what kind of soap, just something really stripping, like bleach or something for my hair. Like, I, I didn't understand why that would be such a bad thing. And anyway, we talked about that and she's a big proponent of washing your scalp every day. And I was like, okay, good. I was, I'm glad to hear that. So anyway, I started using that shampoo and conditioner and then they have um, a serum, a scalp serum. This is the 3% stem cell peptide scalp treatment. And so after I wash my hair, every day <laughs> with the shampoo and conditioner. I've been putting this, you know, like all over my scalp, just in spots. And it has a little bit of like a peppermint, I don't know if it's a peppermint oil or a peppermint essence of some sort, but that feels really nice on the scalp. Um, but what I've noticed, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see, but I'm getting all of this hair growth like along my hairline. It's like looking, fuller there and I was like it's gotta be from this because I haven't taken biotin in a really long time and biotin really really helps like a prenatal vitamin or something with a lot of biotin that helps at least it helps me with like the growth of hair or whatever the only issue I have with biotin is that it helps hair growth everywhere not just on your scalp so I was like uh, so I was using that for a while and then I stopped using it. I was like kind of getting a little bit of like darkness in my stash here. I was like, mm, okay, my 
hair is fine. So I stopped taking that. I stopped taking that a while ago. So anyway, I think everything that I'm noticing is from this shampoo, conditioner, and this scalp serum from Actin Acre. So I just wanted to mention those three things. I just feel like my hair is, um, is so much fuller. You know, I don't do much with my hair to give it a ton of body, but you know when you, you just run your fingers through your hair, there's just so much more of it, and that's what I'm feeling a lot, especially when I put the scalp treatment in and I'm doing this, you know, I'm massaging it in. I'm like, oh, wow. I'm like, I just feel like I have so much more hair. Anyway, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. I, I yeah, I'm having a really, really good time with this Acton Acre brand. And then I will put in, you guys have heard me talk about this a thousand times, The Hair Ritual by Cicely La Creme 230. Um, I put this in my hair as like a, a heat protectant. And then in terms of blow dryer, I was actually just looking for my Zuvi um, Halo hair dryer. Uh, that I actually left downstairs. In my downstairs bathroom, I was using it down there. Anyway, I also, um, so I've been loving that hair dryer. That one I find is really, really gentle with my hair. It's not the fastest drying hair dryer, but I feel like it is, because it's not so fast, it's gentle and my hair isn't quite as fried after I use that hair dryer. And the same with this T3 hair dryer. I don't even know the name of this. Um, but this one I've been using as well, and it literally will just be whatever hair dryer is like closest to me. That's the one I'll use. But this is the one that has uh, like presets. You can choose like what it is that you want to do. I think this is called like the ID hair dryer. Anyway, I'll link it down below if you're interested. I can't remember the name of this, and it's not on these tags or anything. Anyway, I really enjoy this hair dryer as well. I love and I do use the Dyson hair dryer, but that one, even if I lower the heat and I lower the fan, I've played around with the settings, I do feel like that hair dryer dries out my hair the most. I mean, not, not in a good way. Um, it like fries my hair a little bit. Like my hair is just, it's too, it's almost too much. So I stopped using that and I've been using this and the Zuvi one uh, predominantly. So anyway, let me go ahead and dry my hair. Okay, so this, <laughs> this is what my hair looks like when I just dry it. I didn't put a brush in it, nothing. And I usually just let my hair part wherever it feels like parting. Lately, it's been wanting to part over here on the right side, um, which is fine. It's like, it works with all these cowlicks I have um, along the, uh, the front of my hairline here. And I mentioned this during my uh, Black Friday sale video and I don't think the sale is still going on. However, I, sorry, I'm trying to untangle the cord here. I have been loving this T3 Edge brush. So this paddle is heated. The edges, do you see that like metal edging? Those are heated. So definitely keep your hands away from that. I can touch this, you know, just to kind of like help my hair in it. I can do that, but definitely stay away from the, the metal. So it's got three heat settings. I just put it on medium. It's so simple. So what I do once I dry, like blow dry my hair, I just run this brush through and it just smooths my hair just a little bit more. I do feel like when I use this T3 hair dryer and my Zuvi hair dryer, my hair isn't terribly frizzy. Like after I would use the Dyson hair dryer, again, even though it's the fastest drying out of these three hair dryers I'm talking about, it would, however, leave my hair like the frizziest. And I just felt like my hair was getting drier and drier the more I was using the Dyson hair dryer. So I've just kind of pulled back from that one. Um, if you need a really fast hair dry, that's a good one. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so anyway, I just kind of like brush my hair through with this. It's also great too, because I always feel like I can never get my roots totally dry, but if you run this through your entire head of hair, it'll dry out the roots of your hair too. So anyway, just to do a little styling, what I'll do is kind of brush my hair up and away at the crown of my head, just to give me a little bit more body up here. And then what I really love to do is just add a little bit of a swoop in my hair. Nothing too much. I've never really 
um, I don't know, gotten good at or <laughs> been able to give myself those nice kind of like ringlet curls that I always see women putting into their hair. I'm like, I, I look terrible. I don't know. I'm not, I like a, a much softer curl. I can't really do like that kind of like ringlet thing. And I know it's like, it's supposed to be like a beachy wave, but that to me, that's like much, uh, much wavier than a beachy wave. <laughs> this to me is a little bit better. You know, I can, I can handle this. Um, and so, yeah, I just like swoop the brush around and then I just brush my hair down slowly. And that's it. It's so, so easy. So super fast. So anyway, that's all I've been doing with my hair. Just using those Acton Acre products, my hair ritual by Sicily heat protectant, and then blowing it dry and then brushing it through with this. And you know, I'm not I'm not the biggest hair person. You know, into my hair. Obviously, I don't color my hair. I don't get my hair cut. You know, a thousand times every year. I get it cut maybe once a year. So when it comes to fast and easy solutions, I'm your gal. I am your gal. So I really love that T3 Edge, and I really love these Acton Acre products. I feel like, well, definitely check out their product description on Sephora. Just, you know, read up on it, see if it's for you, um, check out their website or whatever. But I, I have to say, I think if you have thinning hair, I would definitely give this, like, uh, regimen, give this a shot because yeah, my hair just, it just feels fuller. I couldn't be more ecstatic. It kind of side blinded me. And I mean, it was something that I, I had heard about, you know, you hear a lot of things about going through perimenopause or menopause or whatever. And a lot of women talk about how they lose a lot of hair and you know, their hair just starts to really, really thin out. And I, you know, I feel like I started to see my hair thinning out a lot. I mean, before I feel like I hit perimenopause, um, probably a couple years before then. And then when things started changing, I started to see more of it. And I was like, oh God, I'm like, this is not a good, uh, like trajectory here <laughs> of like hair loss. So anyway, I feel like this has like turned it around. So yeah, yeah. I feel like my hair is like super healthy these days. Um, okay. Well, let's finish getting dressed. So I threw on this, uh, this sweater, which I just showed you, but then I threw on my Everlane, uh, these are just like elastic waisted uh, taper like pants, but, and I know I should be happy about this, but they're kind of big on me now. Um, but that's annoying because now I don't feel like I have my go-to, <laughs> my go-to black pants. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, I think I can wear them today though. They're, they're okay. It's not like I'm going to be jumping up and down. Um, so I've got this on. I think I'm just going to throw on, I'm trying to think of shoes. Maybe I'll throw on my Prada Napa mules. And then of course my first instinct is to put on uh, like a black bag, but I think I'm going to use my Atelier August bag. This is a different brown, but I think it works and it kind of just breaks it up a little bit. Yeah, I think that works. And then I've got my long black Everlane Renew quilted liner jacket. I have that downstairs. I'll put that on over this. And I think we're ready to go. Did I even tell you what we're doing today? So this is kind of impromptu, but I wanted to check out, I think I talked about this in my very first Mishmas video where I was talking about, I don't really decorate too much for the holidays because I feel like it's, it's like only up for such a short period of time. And I'm like, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to take all that time and all that effort to put up something that I'm just going to have to take down in like a month. But I did want to go to like at home and some of the other spots like uh, maybe home goods or whatever, just to see what they have, because I do want to pick up more pillows for the couch where I have those Christmas tree, um, like lumbar pillows. I thought some like square pillows would look nice on the couch. So maybe we could take a look, do that. Oh, maybe go to Target. I think they have some stuff. Although I feel like I've been to Target lately and they didn't have that much left. I always feel like I'm late too. Like I'm, I'm super late now, but like everyone has bought all of their um, holiday decor already. But so I thought we could do that today and then uh, I'm gonna have to eat some lunch or whatever. And then we'll see, we'll see where the day takes us. All right, I just stopped by the UPS store, dropped off some packages that I needed to ship picked up a bunch of PR packages. 
Um, they fit nicely in my frunk, which is always a good thing. And I think now we will head over, well, let me tell you where I need to go, not need to, but would like to go today. At home, Home Goods, Target, and um, and then I want to stop by Trader Joe's, but that would definitely be last because there's something that I want to get that's frozen. Um, so that'll be the stop before heading home. So I think, I'm trying to map everything out in my head. I think I will do, tar do I want to do Target? Let me do at home and home goods. I'm going to do at home first. Okay, let's head there. Okay, I just got done at At Home. I actually got some stuff. <laughs> I really wanted pillows, but I couldn't, I couldn't find any I liked. Um, and then I didn't realize that At Home is actually in the same shopping mall as Trader Joe's. So I'm just gonna go to Trader Joe's and then head on home. All right, I am back from my travels. <laughs> I feel like I was out like all day, but I was out for like three hours. Um, let me just show you what I got at Trader Joe's. So I went there specifically for this Green Goddess uh, seasoning blend. They call it, it's basically just a spice mix. And I like to put this on my salad. So I don't eat my salad, I don't eat my greens with any dressing. What I'll do is I'll spritz a little bit of olive oil in there. I'll sprinkle this on top and then I'll mix it all together. So this, it's a very typical Green Goddess situation, um, but it's got like onion, garlic, pepper, chives, um, scallion powder, spinach powder, lemon powder, blah, blah, blah. It's just very, very tasty. It's got everything um, that I enjoy, <laughs> all the flavors that I enjoy. So I like that. And I've already gone through one bottle. And then I got furikake, which is um, if you ever, you know, go to a sushi place, it's Japanese seasoning, but it has like black sesame, uh, seeds, white sesame seeds, nori, which is black seaweed, salt, and kelp powder. And it's so, so good over rice. Not that I have a ton of rice anymore, but um, if I have like some salmon, it's really good over salmon. Um, and when I do have a little bit of rice and salmon, like it's just a really good, I think, addition to um, seafood. So got that. And then I got some organic <laughs> brown rice cake fins. My trainer was like, if you need something crunchy, if you need a snack, he's like, have like a rice cake. So let's see, serving size, six pieces. So in six of these thins, there's 110 calories. I mean, whatever, I'm sure it tastes like styrofoam, but sometimes you do just want that crunch, you know, that like snack crisp crunch. It's really hard to find that in something not horrible for you, but I figure maybe I could put some like almond butter on this. I think that would make a good snack. Anyway, grab those. 
And then I got some gingerbread coffee. So it's coffee, um, I almost said laced with, but I feel like that, <laughs> that has a really bad connotation. But it's coffee laced with uh, ginger, cinnamon, and cloves. And it's a medium dark roast. So love that. I'll have to uh, break that open once my advent calendar is done. If you guys didn't notice, or if I didn't mention it, I think I did. Um, my coffee advent calendar is only for 12 days. So from 13 to 25, we're kind of on our own. So I thought I'd get some holiday coffee for those days. All right, that's what I got at Trader Joe's. I actually went for hash browns. Have you guys seen these hash browns? So I watch Kim Tai. She is uh, a vlogger out of LA and she has like a mukbang channel and she's really good friends with Michelle, Ye Michelle Choi, but I think her channel name is like Michelle Yeji. Y-E-J-I. Um, anyway, they're both, they're both really like sweet from LA. Um, I think they just turned like 30, super young. I could be their, their mother. Um, but anyway, I watched them because they're, they're just funny. And uh, Kim Tai was talking about these hash browns from Trader Joe's. They're frozen. People have been cooking them up in the air fryer. They come out like they're amazing. And my husband, I don't actually like hash browns. My husband loves hash browns. So I thought, oh, why don't I get a pack and we can, you know, have some during the holiday season or whatever. Sold out, of course, of course, because I found out about it on the internet. It's totally sold out. So I didn't get those. But let me show you what I got at Home Goods. Not Home Goods, sorry, at, at home. At, at home. <laughs> I got a doormat. Isn't it cute? As you guys know, I am not the biggest fan of you know, like things with words on them. And it was really difficult. This and maybe there was like two other doormats that didn't have any words on them, like welcome or Merry Christmas or ho, 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 or wipe your feet or something idiotic. So um, yeah, so I just went with the snowman. I thought that was really cute. And then I got, I'm just gonna have to show you all this stuff, but this is like a huge thing of garland that I'm gonna put on the fireplace. We can do that together. I got a tree skirt because the wheels at the bottom of my tree are just hanging out, not very um, aesthetically pleasing. Oh, and then I got some kitchen towels. Look at these guys. So this is a doggy and Christmas tree set, and it comes with this green one. And then this one is embroidered snowflake tree with a gray towel. So I really liked these two sets, very different, but very festive. Oh, and then, that's right, I got a bunch of stuff for the guest room. So my guest room has like a navy blue kind of motif going on in there. So I got something to put on the dresser, it's like a garland, um, and some other goodies, which, you know what, I'll just show you when I set them up in the guest room. But let's start with this doormat. All right, this is the mat that I have here, I'm just gonna scoot this aside for now. And my snowman here. It is a little, a little short <laughs> for my door, but it's fine. Um, no one comes to my front door anyway. And then, where should I put this one? I was gonna put, put it by my office door, which is off to the side. Maybe I'll do that. I'll just put it on top of that water hog one that I have. There we go. That looks fine. So there's my snowman. Oh, it's cute, I like it. Okay, so I got this garland to put on the fireplace. So I've got to move some of this stuff. Let's see, I'm actually gonna move my Diptyque hourglass diffuser. I think I'm gonna move it to my office. I've got these candles I'm just gonna move back and then I think with the garland here I can probably move these these little guys someplace else I don't know we'll see I had originally picked up one of these garland things that had glitter I was like oh that's pretty like my hand was covered with it just from putting it into the cart so I was like that's not coming home with me. So I decided to go with something a little bit plainer. It's flocked, but that's it. There's no like glitter or anything. And then it just has some like holly berries and snow cones and stuff. 
We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it looks. Okay. I think that looks nice. I think that looks nicer than I thought it would. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna move those little trees, these little guys elsewhere, because I think they're just gonna be swallowed up by this, by this faux garland. All right, next, I have this tree skirt. Now, it was kind of a challenge trying to find, <laughs> trying to find a tree skirt that I liked. This one, being that it's just kind of off-white and then has these, I don't know, it's like rose gold kind of foiled effect. I kind of like this pattern, it was like, feather feather pattern all of the other tree skirts were like red or plaid or burlap like really country and really red and since my ornaments are more of like that deep purple and green i was like that is not going to look right so this was the only one really they had a plain one but it was like a berber one and i just you know i'm like if i put berber down there butters is just going to be like all over the bottom of that tree so I thought maybe this one's a little bit safer. This is soft too. She may end up laying down on this as well. We'll have to see. All right, well, doesn't that look so much nicer than those <laughs> black metal casters? All right, like I mentioned, I got a couple of things for the guest room. I really want you to make it kind of festive. And I didn't even think about it until I was walking by this one section at, at home where all of the decor, instead of it being like really red or red and green or gold or whatever, it was all very like blue and white. I got some stuff because the theme, the color theme at least for the uh, guest room is like navy and white and it has like silver fixtures. So let's go up there and I'll show you what I got. Okay, here's the room. So here's all that blue and white. The bathroom tile basically dictated <laughs> the color scheme because it's basically blue, gray and white. So that's what I did in this room. And I have some things out on the dresser now, but I'm gonna move them like these flowers. We can move elsewhere. And so, let's see. We've got that other land candle, which is actually really nice. It has like a green motif on the front. We can leave that. I got this silver ceramic tree. I got this green glazed ceramic tree <laughs> and then I got this garland which I don't know if I like this let's see it's very plain it just looks like um, almost like a topiary like those kind of leaves I figure I could put it here along the back edge it's actually a really good length it's like the perfect length all right, we'll go with it. And then I'm not exactly sure what possessed me to get this, but I think it was just the whole blue and white situation, but it's this metal, <laughs> this metal sleigh. <laughs> and it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I could put stuff in there, but I, I'll probably refrain, but I liked the motif. We have a, a flickering light bulb in here. I had to turn off that light fixture. That was making me crazy. Okay, and then I think I'll put these over here and then maybe the candle next door here. How is that? Is that not festive? Well, it's already getting dark out, you guys. Um, but let me show you what I got at the UPS store. Let's go through those together because I actually don't know what I got <laughs> at the UPS store, but I just brought those boxes in. And so we can do a quick little PR haul now. Wow, I cannot read this label. Look how small the, the writing is on this label. Crazy. Okay, let's just open it up. Ah, from Monica Blunder Beauty. Dear Michelle, we hope you enjoy the cleanest and most luxurious form of self-care this fall. Oh, that's so nice. Let's see, they have a meltdown cleansing balm. I think I've heard very, very good things about this particular brand. Was it from Tara Babies? Does she use them? I feel like maybe she does. I could be mixing her up with someone. Beautiful jar. Oh, I love that. You guys know I love a good cleansing balm. Uh, they also sent over uh, Body Language Botanical Oil. Beautiful. And then Do Better Face Oil. Oh, that's so nice. And what is this? Uh, nut Butter Filled Hazelnut Butter Dark Chocolate. Wow. 
I'll have to let my husband indulge in this since I'm allergic to hazelnuts. But that, I love who. They used to actually have a restaurant on Fifth Avenue between 14th and 13th down in the village. And it was so great. They had grass-fed beef. It was amazing. It was like a purely paleo kind of place. Um, but it closed. I think the pandemic took them down, which really sucks. So when I go back to New York now, I'm like, oh, I want to go to who, but it's not there. So sad. Anyway, thank you so much to Monica Blunder. Can't wait to try this cleansing balm. All right, this box is, again, I don't know. This is from, to you from, oh, from Milani. Look how pretty this is. Look at this box. Oh, what did they send? Your look wrapped up for the holidays. It's so nice. Wow, look at this. Pretty like package here. This makeup bag. Let's see what's in here. We've got the Fruit Fetish Lip Oil 180 Cranberry Current. And then looks like a bunch of other stuff. Let's see. You know, my friend here, and you guys, I know, are all watchers of Risa Does Makeup. She loves Milani. Always talking about Milani. Always recommending Milani. And I'm always really tempted. Oh, especially by, oh yeah, by like the eyeshadow palettes. Mascara. These look like eyeshadow crayons. Here's that lip fetish stuff. <laughs> Ooh, Dolce Pink baked blush. I know People love Milani's baked blushes. A liquid eyeliner and their Make It Last, so I guess this is their setting powder. Oh, this is so awesome. Thank you, Milani, so nice. And ah, something from Summer Fridays. Beautiful pamphlet. I love this color. Look at the color of this box. Isn't it so pretty? It's like a really light grayish, bluish purple. So pretty, oops. Okay, your evening skincare routine. We've got the Dream Oasis Deep Hydration Serum. Then we've got the Rich Cushion Cream. I've used that, I really enjoy that. Um, and the All-in-One Face Oil, Heavenly 16. I've also used this. This is really, really nice as well. I don't think I've used this though. This is the only one, but everything else is definitely, I can vouch for. So beautiful. This package is so beautiful. Well, thank you so much, Summer Fridays. This is so awesome. And then something from Yensa. Ooh, experience the glow of superfood science and Asian rituals. The Super Serum Silk Foundation. Oh, it's their silk pressed foundation. So they sent me light one, and then they sent me a couple of other shades, I guess, to try. So this is a powder foundation. Oh, and these are liquid foundations. I see. Sorry, I thought this was maybe like a cushion foundation. It's a powder foundation. I still don't see any like shade names on here though. Interesting. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Thank you very much, Yansa. I'm gonna have to open these up and figure out what's going on. And then last but not least, I got something from, ooh, another tomorrow. This is a clothing brand that I like. Let's see what we have here. Oh, wow. I think they sent me a cropped denim jacket. Ooh, ooh, I love, whoa, I love this. I wonder if this will fit over this bulky sweater. Let's see, they sent over size 48. We're gonna go with it. Let's see, oh, it's definitely roomy enough in the sleeve, which is nice. Oh yeah, sorry, am I hitting the microphone probably? Sorry about that. Ah, well this fits great over this sweater. So this will fit pretty much over anything. Hold on, I'm gonna bring you out over here so I can step back and you can see the jacket. It's definitely cropped. Oh, I like it. I can wear it over some of my like big puffy sweaters. Oh, I love this. I really do. And like my high-waisted trousers, if I don't want this, you know, the bottom of the sweater showing. My pants are falling. <laughs> I love this. I love a black denim jacket. Very, very me. Wow, thank you so much, Another Tomorrow. That's so nice. Well, that is it for my PR haul today and for all the errands that I had to run. Which ones do you guys think? I wish you guys could just live vote. Which ones do you think I should set out first? The doggies, right? Yeah, I'm gonna set out the doggy towels first. So that's it for today's Mishmas video. I will see you in tomorrow's Mishmas video. Bye.